Hi, my name is Dr. Vidya Sagar Ramapa. I'm one of the consultant gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Yashwantpur, Bangalore. Before I answer that question, uh, there are two types of pancreatitis. One is acute pancreatitis and second is chronic pancreatitis. Based on which type of pancreatitis we are dealing with, the symptomatology varies. The most common symptom in acute pancreatitis is severe pain that is usually located in the upper abdomen, sometimes going into the back and the patient is quite ill with this kind of pain often attending the hospital emergency department or the gastroenterology clinic with unbearable pain. There could be associated symptoms such as vomiting or if the inflammation is quite severe, they may have other associated symptoms by means of affection of other organ systems such as shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing and low blood pressure, fever, feeling very cold, clammy and sweaty. On the other hand, chronic pancreatitis can have a spectrum of presentations. Majority of the people may be asymptomatic and they have no symptoms, but when you dig deep in, they may have a suboptimal quality of life when compared to healthy individuals. People who are symptomatic can have variety or varied degrees of pain usually located in the upper abdomen or radiating into the back. A small proportion of the people present only as chronic upper abdominal back pain. The other symptoms of chronic pancreatitis could be unexplained weight loss, increased thirst, onset of diabetes and symptoms of diabetes, altered bowel habits, mainly excess flatulence and loser stools with oil droplets especially associated with a fatty or a greasy meal.